unboxing of the Fire Stick 4K. And you can expand this video's description. As I've done, uh, I've finally gotten sick and tired of cable TV and satellite TV because I've griefed them and I've griefed them more. But my most recent attempt to negotiate that awesome deal for an additional 12 months with my satellite TV provider failed. They offered me something, but it was unacceptable. And then I started looking at the alternatives and I'm like, you know what? Even if I landed that deal, I would still be paying, you know, an astronomical amount. These on all my TVs. So this is kind of my, let's just call it my TV interface. So this is just a way to create a, uh, a uniform experience among all of your TVs. And it's very nice. And if your TV is ARC, or uh, they use another term, I think they also use the term CEC. What's so nice about that, on my TVs that are CEC, ARC compatible, I just use this remote, and it turns my TV and my sound bar on and off, and I don't have to deal with using old remotes. So whether I'm, whether I'm using a TV in the office, in the bedroom, and in the living room, or whatever, I've got the same user experience because I'm using Fire Sticks. What I like about this a lot is how simplistic it is. So you've got, you've got your remote, and this remote is really nice, by the way. Even if you don't have a 4K TV, I would strongly encourage you to consider this, uh, this version of the Fire Stick just because you're getting this really nice remote that, again, if you're using a CEC, ARC, whatever you want to call it, TV that you're connecting to, this will probably be able to turn your TV on and off, and it's just a great way to, again, to eliminate having an additional remote sitting around. So nice form factor, good build quality. I mean, just the, the tactile feel is nice. This is a really nice touch. Amazon is awesome because the batteries that they included with this Fire Stick 4K are Amazon Basics brand batteries. I've really enjoyed using these batteries. Amazon Basics, I'm trying to think of anything I've gotten. Now we're gonna go ahead and move on to the setup process. So now if you want, you can go ahead and use the extender. We'll just go ahead and use it for video purposes. So all you have to do is insert it like that. And the next thing you wanna do is get the USB cable, plug it into the power brick, then get the other end of the cable, and then you're gonna to wanna to plug it into the side of the power stick. And now we're ready to plug these into our TV and our power outlet. All right guys, so you're gonna to wanna to find the HDMI input on your TV, on this TV that I'm using it is on the back and as you can see it says HDMI 1 now you want to pay attention to which HDMI channel you're connecting to so that way you can change your TV to that exact input so in this case it's gonna be HDMI 1 so we're gonna go ahead and move this HDMI cable and then plug in our new one from our fire stick which we'll go ahead and do really quick and as you can see it should look something like this the next step is to plug in our power brick into the power outlet which we're going to be doing right now all right so now we're ready to finish the setup process on our TV. Once you turn on your TV, you're gonna wanna make sure you're on the right HDMI channel. Ask us to choose our network, which is our Wi-Fi connection. So I'm gonna go ahead and choose this first one, and then you're gonna wanna enter your Wi-Fi password. So now it's connecting to the Wi-Fi network. Connection successful. Okay. Now you set up the device to your home Wi-Fi and the device is connected to your home Wi-Fi. The next step we have to do to program the Fire TV Stick Remote Control to control your TV. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna scroll the icon all the way to the right on the setting. Okay, we are on the setting. When we highlight it on the setting and the icon is on the setting, then this page will open, as you can see. So we're gonna scroll down 
and we're gonna highlight equipment control as soon as we highlight equipment control we're gonna click OK the second page will open we're gonna go down manage equipment and we click OK on this page we're gonna go down one step and highlight TV then we're gonna click OK on this page we're gonna scroll down all the way to the bottom and highlight change TV we're gonna click OK then this page will show up we're gonna scroll up and highlight change TV we're gonna click OK but as you can read it will show you that setup will take 5 to 10 minutes so when we highlight change TV we're gonna click OK as soon as we click OK you have to follow exactly the instruction is coming out on your TV screen it will show you how to do it step by step you have to read carefully and understand so you can program your remote to control your TV the volume up and down to turn it off the TV on and off to use the voice Alexa remote so exactly after this stop you just follow exactly the instruction the TV is giving you